Guys, I thought it was really important to give you a sense of the scope and the need here. This facility, which is 33,000 square feet to support all the rooms, the, the cooking rooms, the all the, I mean, you can imagine what it takes to support life, really, and raising kids here on a 24-hour basis, 365 days a year. And I understand when these buildings were built, they didn't have the kind of water pressure that they have today to bring water in. They didn't have the kind of power needs that are, are there today with the, the different kinds of equipment. So today we're trying to take this to support these kids so they don't have power outages, so they don't have... Uh, they have hot water whenever they need it. And so to do that, we are helping them in a big way. This is what we want to do to be able to make these kids' lives better. And I wanted to get you a sense of the scope of both the size of the building and what's needed here. And we're making a difference to help these kids make it happen. But as we came back here to inspect that, and I'll show you that in a minute, we were brought into the laundry room. Now you can imagine how many kids are there in that massive facility and all of the cleaning of the clothes happens in this room. And the interesting part is, it, I couldn't believe this. This feels like the Stone Age, but honestly, everything starts over here in, in a tub where first of all, it's rinsed by hand. And before that, then it goes into a series of washing machines. This is one they have that they've been trying to keep alive forever themselves. Um, I mean, honestly, I don't know if this was around in World War II. It, it's, it's unbelievable and they keep, keep it alive and repairing itself. And with that, they're just buying off, you know, off the shelf washers and dryers that uh, you would get at any department store. Here's the two ones that we added, the one here and then the, the dryer here. Look at this one, this, this dryer, I, I, it looks like they built it themselves. It's this, look at this, this cut metal work and, and yet still though they're using this for drying to keep up with the demands of all the kids that are there. Um, the problems are many, many here. It's, it's like they had problems with the metal corroding as you can see in the base of the old unit there. So they built platforms here with con concrete and stone tiles to keep them off the ground and keep them dry. And over and over again, we keep hearing stories of miracle work they're doing to keep this alive, to help the kids and keep this going. The, the problems we don't have to face because the water here, even though it comes from pure sources, the pipes are old and so sometimes you don't know the quality it comes through and there's always filtering. Even the people who live here don't drink the water out of the tap, they buy bottled water. What the problem that makes is when you're washing clothes, the contaminants that can get in the clothes. So each of the units have these massive filtering units that they have to go through to keep the water clean so it doesn't end up ruining the clothes. And so those have to be cleaned on a regular basis. You think about what happens daily here with all these kids. And by the way, the, the director is here and we heard from her in a little bit, but one of the great things she had for us was actually supplying diapers, disposable diapers, as opposed to the ones that have to start here in the tub with poopy diapers and cloth and having to clean all of that. So we thank you so much for showing this to us because our hearts free and we want to help so much with everything you have going on. And we see the, the incredible work it takes to keep up with these kids, the manual labor, the effort, the, the, the cleaning, everything it does to keep up with the demand. And they, they do it selfish, uh, selflessly and it's something that, that we just really, um, really respect. We want to support and want to get behind them uh, even more. And um, so thank you for showing this and we're going to do what we can for you. If your heart resonates with everything you've seen, please help us. Right now we're trying to raise $9,000 to buy two brand new commercial grade wash machines. If hotels can have nice facilities for taking care of their laundry, why can't we help these kids have the same? Please help with any amount you can today at the link below.